Thanks for joining us. Get ready for the NBA here on Sports. The NBA season now getting into full swing. It's going to be the New York Knicks up against the Los Angeles Clippers. We'll catch up again at halftime. And we see a while ago the Clippers prepared for the task at hand. It's a road game for the Knicks, and they're facing an interconference foe today. And get ready for another dose of NBA basketball here with Clark Kellogg and Steve Kerr and Kevin Harden. Now a chance to check out our starting lineups. And uh, guys, check out Blake Griffin. What can we expect here? Well, everybody knows around the league that if you get in Blake Griffin's way when he has a head of steam going, you're going to end up on his poster at some point. So since coming into the league, I think he's as he's become as intimidating a player as we've seen. I agree. It's just not posterizing people either, Steve, although he does a bunch of that. When he gets a steal and has a free lane to the basket on a breakaway, there's a good chance the crowd's going to see a mini dunk. Oh, oh ridiculous. Tore it down that time. Putting on a show for these people. I cannot believe he pulled that one out <laughs> in the course of an actual game. Are you kidding oh, me? Oh, man. Might as well want it if you got it, Clark. You know, the Knicks got off to a fast start, but when you employ as many old bodies as they did last year, it's hard to sustain the level of play you need over the course of a full season. It's one reason they started to falter a bit late in the year. Felton with the ball. Chris Paul covering. It's just DeBarnani. Oh! Paul kicks to Reddick. Good, and Paul gets the assist. Reddick's got his first two points of the night. And Clark, you said it, the Knicks did hit that low last season right after the All-Star break into early March. But Steve, when the Vets saw the finish line in sight, they picked up their play and got back in it. That's right. They won 13 games in a row late in the season, catapulting themselves back into the top tier of teams in the East and let everyone know that they would not be exiting the playoffs early. That, that really was the start of that run. Tyson Chandler, first-time All-Star last season. His 12th season in the league. This is a guy that came right out of high school. It was a long time coming for him, but certainly that All-Star berth well-deserved. And the first one at the line is good. And for Tyson Chandler, it's been a long road over the last few seasons. Steve, he's playing undoubtedly the best basketball of his career. Yeah, key contributor on Team USA, an NBA champion with the Mavericks in 2011, and now an NBA All-Star. It's the defense, it's the understanding of his teammates and the game plan. Just a very, very smart player and a hard worker as well. Paul outside. This one for three. Count the bucket. Paul's got his first three points of the game. Three straight makes to start this game. Looking good. Chandler with a screen for Felton. Back to Chandler. Outside Felton. Some nice passing by New York here. Arnani dishes to Felton. Five on the clock. Shoots it. That's good from Bargnani. Now here's Paul. 14 points from him the last game against Dallas. It wasn't just offense either, Kevin, and he was so disruptive defensively. I don't remember how many steals he had, but, man, he was dominant out there. Jordan feeds it to Reddit. Pass to Paul. Taken away by Felton. Shepard. And that comes off the assist by Raymond Felton. Shumpert's got his first bucket in this one. And let's get this update now from Doris Burke, who's across the way on the sideline. 
short time ago, Mike Woodson and I were able to catch up. He knows a big part of winning this game will come down to how well they can guard Blake Griffin. He said it all comes down to positioning and preventing him from getting inside, both on and off the ball. And guys, he's willing to concede some open jump shots to Griffin to do that. We'll see if Griffin can make him pay for it. Back to you. All right, Doris, thank you very much. Things have kind of gone south for him here in the quarter. Paul passes to Griffin. He feeds it to Reddick. He kicks it to Paul. And the Clippers miss again. So for New York, their last game a win against the Bobcats in Charlotte. And their inside strength was so apparent in that win. They, they just blocked shots, controlled the lane, did a good job on the glass. Very alert were they, Steve. Alert, aware, and reacted quickly to shot attempts in the post. The feed to Reddit. Shoots. It's rebounded by New York. This, their first look at this year's Los Angeles squad. It was a very one-sided matchup last year, that's for sure. They came up empty against this club on the road and in the game played in their home building. Paul kicks to Jordan. Good. The Knicks have gone three of seven from the field since we've gotten underway. Felton against Paul. Felton dishes to Carmelo. Oh! And there's the whistle. Fouled hard on the shot. He'll go to the line. Steve, moments ago talking about last year's meeting, and that was probably hard to swallow for a team that was typically the one doing the sweeping. Clark not getting swept. Yeah, you know, Kevin, there's still no shame in losing twice to these guys. It happened to a lot of teams, even some very good ones, so they need to keep their heads high. And New York making a change here. Amari Stoudemire is checked in for Chandler. World Peace comes in for Bargnani. J.R. Smith's checked in for Shump. And it's Udrick in for Raymond Felton. Dudley's shot is good. Boy, he found the perfect spot behind the arc there. Big gap in the defense. Hey, I think we all knew that the Clippers were good last year, but we really took notice when they rattled off those 17 wins in a row in December. And that was a franchise record, which had previously been 11. And that's when the league really took notice. It's stolen by Stoudemire. Not watching the line there. That'll be a backcourt violation. And a chance here to check out the league's scoring leader. Third is Carmelo Anthony. And his contribution to this team I mean, can't be understated. His scoring on a night-in, night-out basis has been fantastic. Crawford drives in. And the rebound goes to the Knicks. Anthony's got three rebounds now in this one. Well, it was the year of the win streak last season with Miami doing what they did and Denver getting hot as well. Well, you know, Steve, the Clippers had the first lengthy win streak and turned some heads earlier in the season. Yeah, what was that, about 17 games in a row they won? And I thought that kind of established the Clippers in the West, put a little fear in the rest of the conference, and gave L.A. a, a swagger that I thought helped them get through the rest of the season. That's far too good a look to give them from behind the arc. Well, that's three of the last five makes, uh, having been behind the three-point line. So, got to make some adjustments defensively. Kept alive. He's again. And the rejection by Mullins. Dudley the pass to Crawford. He dishes it to Barnes. Dudley. The kick out to Collison. Three-pointer. Dudley, no luck. Five on three break. Rejected by Dudley. That's good. He gets it up and released it in time, but it's off the mark. And that concludes the first quarter of play.